Yo, 10 Minute Daily Reality Check, this one's gonna be fucking heated. Today we're talking about don't engage the idiot. But yet every fucking day, people engage the idiots. And what my friend of mine said to me the other day, whenever you go and you engage the idiot, when you go to court and you battle the idiot, when you go and get into an argument with the idiot on the street, you're going and you're heading down to low vibrational town. You're basically heading to Loserville because it's the only way losers can ever fucking compete with somebody who's great and wonderful is they try to bring them down to the idiot. Now, John, you and I have a disease called not backing down. So yes. we have an idiot. <laughs> so I have a way worse than you. I have a way worse than you do. Right, you have a way worse. Sometimes I'll pull you away, man. I'll be like, yeah. oh, let's go, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten better over the years, but if I'm tired or I'm hungry, it's it's a dangerous time for me. You know, it is, yeah. If, you're yeah if I'm overworked, you know, if I'm yeah. over, it's like whatever it is. If I had too much caffeine, that's when I'm susceptible to engaging the idiot. You know, that's when I get sucked into the vortex. You do in the vortex. I mean, I do too. Sometimes I get sucked into the vortex, and I'm like, I can't fucking believe I'm engaging the idiot. <laughs> I mean, and it is, and it's the most draining thing. Like you and I can hang out for ten hours, and I feel great, and I feel fine. But the minute we run into the idiot and then we take a five minute step down to fucking Loserville, we're exhausted yeah. the rest of the day, right? It's so true. You're it's so true. true. And then I'll say something like, hey, look, at the, really? pretty, look at the pretty buildings up there. And you're like, don't tell me about the neighbor. It's like, we just continue oh, for right. yeah. five minutes, right? But it, it, it takes me what? out sometimes for a week. It just, I, you know, it's really, then it really bothers me. I want to just stay inside. I don't want to engage with anybody because it's just like, man, it's just, so, you know, why am I getting sucked into the, why am I letting the negative energy of the world suck me in when I know better, you know, when I, or, you know, uh, you know, even the idiot is where the idiot is. Maybe in five years from now, the idiot won't be an idiot. It's not for me to solve or not solve or get sucked into when I'm not there, but something in me will call me into that from time to time. You know, I'll just, I'll just be like, oh, I'm going to get involved in this idiots thing you know and when i and then i have to remind i have a great life i'm in great health i have a great career i have great things going on i have i have great ideas to share why am i getting sucked into the with the idiot well you notice you can't change the idiot the other day i looked at a facebook post and some woman i tried online dating again and i'll tell you it happened again you know i started flirting with this guy and we started getting along and then you know i had to ask him this don't tell me you voted for Trump. And he did. And then I was like, that's it. I'm no longer going to be dating online again. I couldn't believe it. I spent like an hour talking to him and then he ruined the whole thing because he voted for Trump and I just couldn't respect him. I mean, that's Oh, it. Jesus. Like, yeah. You see idiot postings all fucking day long on social media. Over liberalism. Well, it's not even over liberalism. It, it, it's, you see these postings and you almost, and then your yeah. fingers start wanting to engage the idiot. You're like, all of a sudden, you go, dit, 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 and you start tapping into the fucking I know. It's, and you I post know. on it's Facebook, like, and you never go, I never go to Facebook. I, I, go, I never ever go to Facebook. I, mean, yeah, I can't wait till they make a decentralized Facebook and Twitter and get rid of this Zuckerberg and Jack, and then we can all just talk without some guy collecting all our stuff, you know? Or, or the girl, the girl who puts the post out there that says, "I want a real man. I want a real man. Oh, please, can I have?" Oh, a real I know. Man? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the guy is texting her and, and texting her texts like, "Hey, when are you free for a date? I want to take you out." And she's putting it on Facebook, going, "Oh my God, I can't believe the way you approached me." I'm saying, "Fuck, you know, two weeks ago, you're putting a status out there about you yeah. want a real man. You want a real man. All of a sudden, a man is taking a leap of faith, trying to take you out on a date, and you're you're embarrassing him on the internet." I mean, it's ridiculous. People are what's, wait, what's he talking about? What are you talking about? He's talking about engaging the idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. What am I talking yeah. about? I don't yeah. talking Hold about. on, I can't. Uh, yeah, now I got what you're saying. Yeah, at first I was like, is this a personal thing or? No, no. Uh, no, he's not I'm the talk no, no, John, I'm talking, talking about, okay, I'm talking about people. I feel like I'm the only guy who tells about my personal plight here. I'm telling him about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy who got into an altercation on the street the other day. I'm the one who tells you about it, you know? Like, I got an like I'm, sharing, too. I'm sharing ugly things on this spot. Well, you know, I engage the idiot. I mean, I can I be. Mean, a, I can, I, has I, anyone else done? I shared some ugly thing, you know, like an ugly thing happened. I got caught up in it. What I happened? You guys are playing it safe. I don't play it safe. I engage, you see me engage the idiots. You see me drive. 
Yeah, the idiots behind the wheel. I'm driving. I've got the comment. I'm making a comment at somebody. I got no patience for dumb people. It's like it's like I feel like that little kid in the sixth sense. I see dumb people. Dumb yeah. people drive me fucking nuts every single day. Dumb people drive me nuts. And the <laughs> thing is, they only know. And this this is what I've learned. And when I, I was talking to this really cool um, therapist today, because I, I was kind of doing some research, right? And she looked at me and she says, "Whenever you go and engage an idiot." Mm. They don't know how to engage you on your level. So what they do is they threaten and they bully you because idiots, bullies are idiots, right? So mm -hmm. they'll try to bully you with words or vacant threats and they'll bring you down to their level so then they can get you angry enough so then they can start spewing words out and then they'll start twisting and turning and go, oh, you see, you see, we can never have a simple conversation because idiots are frustrating. Remember the original idiot? Who is the original idiot? What was the name of the guy? Alfred E. Newman, right? What was that? Oh, right. Yeah, Mad Magazine, yeah. Yeah, and then there was Cracked. That was another magazine. Mm. But you can't engage an idiot. And the problem is, okay, because for people like you and I and Alex, is that we spend a lot of time helping people, right? So we think to ourselves, yeah, you know, I can help the idiot. I can help the idiot. And we sit there and we try to rationalize with the idiot. And the, you have a better chance of rationalizing and fucking turning a horse into a unicorn or getting fucking Wayne's so World true. to fucking come to life. I mean, so you're true. never going to convince somebody who doesn't vibrate at your high level the way you speak. You'll never convince, you'll never change somebody. If someone's got an idiotic point of view and they're fucking limited in their beliefs and they're a real asshole, because there are fucking assholes out there in this world, you're not gonna be able to change them or fix them or make them better. It, it just doesn't work. Let me ask you this. You said something a long time ago, and I really try to follow it because I live in New York. Like in New York, and Alex used to live in New York. You're from New York. Uh, in New York, you uh, experience more probably stimulation than most places in the world in, you know, within an hour, within uh, just taking a walk, anything, you know, in, in one walk, you can see the most beautiful in one moment in fact in one moment all at once you can see the most beautiful woman in the world your adrenaline uh, pumps your eyes light up you're in a complete state of appreciation some truck driver honks a horn loud enough to blow you off the sidewalk all at <clears> once some the smell, yeah the, some smell comes seeping out of the sidewalk some uh, a, a mentally ill uh, schizophrenic man starts yelling fuck you in your face and uh you're so used to it you just keep walking you know like that's all happening it's a lot of stimulation over and over and that's happening all day um and you always say walk away from crazy yeah you have to yeah all right when i see crazy i walk away from it and i learned to do that and i would say uh 9.9 .9 out of 10 times i do that now whereas it used to be uh Three out of ten. <laughs> you know, I just like something about me wanted to walk in. I think it's the training of an actor. They say an actor is um, uh, like an emotional fireman. When other people run away, he run, he or she runs in. And uh, so I got trained to react to the sort of the excitement. I feel, let me go into this anger. Let me go into this what's weird shit. So, but now I've got. I remember, pulling, I remember pulling you away from things. I remember. Yeah, I know. Like, oh no, 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 no! You know, it's like, don't do it, don't do it. You'll fuck. No. And it's funny to watch. Yeah, it is funny. Well, I mean, I've got quite a personality, but let let that's true, right? I'm, you know, I got a nice personality, but uh, and it's fun to watch if I'm happy, and it's fun to watch if I'm not. But uh, but here's the thing I'm asking. Now we're here, and we're saying, okay. We're, we're framing things in like the negative. Don't engage the idiot. But what should we be doing? Like what, like when you said to me, hey, I walk away from crazy, that was like a good role model for me because, you know, I didn't want, you know, I didn't know anything about walking away from crazy, you know? So I was like, oh, walk away from crazy. Yeah, and David lived in New York for like 30 years and, and never got stabbed or shot. So that's probably pretty good, right? Now I've been here, I haven't either. And I haven't always walked away from crazy, but most of the time I do. But what can we walk into? What do we, you know, what can we do? Like, let's say there's a situation where there's some crazy around you and, and, it, and you want to react or, and you feel the need or you feel like you're being attacked or you feel like you're going to get drawn in. You're about to get drawn into a low frequency person. And this is part of like 
there really is frequencies and you can be on a high plane. And I know when I engage with the idiot that it takes me out of the high plane for days, if weeks, it makes kind of change. It makes me feel, it's like go, going out and drinking a bottle of whiskey or something. It really knocks my frequency down. So how can you stay, you know, what is our motto instead of, hey, don't engage the idiot, which is one way of looking at it. Well, what do I do? What, what's the high frequency kind of mantra or affirmation? You know, something that somebody told me and something that I've really practiced a lot is you just walk away because you know when you engage, it takes you out of alignment. And when you're out of alignment, the magic of life doesn't happen anymore. I know that if I'm in a battle with an idiot, and you know some of the idiots I've battled in my life, right? Mm. I'll loop and I'll talk about it and I'll speculate about it and I'll think about it, you know, and I'll think, how can I win? You're never gonna win with an idiot. You can't, no matter how wonderful we are with words and we are wordsmiths, you know? Doesn't it seem like that whenever we're up against an idiot, all of a sudden we could be as eloquent as possible, five minutes later we're fucking stammering our words out because they are just such low frequency people. So I've learned that whenever I'm engaged with an idiot, I'm taking myself out of alignment, probably for the remainder of the day, because I'm gonna think about it. And I think to myself, is it, why do I want to engage them? And usually it's just my ego. My ego so desperately wants to teach them a lesson or get mm. through to them. I'll get through to them. I mean, narcissist. You ever try to get through to a narcissist? It's fucking Can't do it. It's like, throwing, it's like throwing a rubber ball at a brick wall. It bounces right back at you. Oh, yeah. It, it's yeah. the worst feeling in the world. I've dealt with a narcissist, you know, on, on, on personal levels, and, and it's unbelievable. And narcissists are idiots because they have no, and, and this is something that somebody told me today, it, it's, they have no capacity to really have empathy. You know, an idiot, we're not teaching the idiots a lesson we never will. And the best lesson is to just walk away and literally look at them and put your hand up and just go, no, nah, I'll fucking pass. My life is way, and you said it, our lives are way too fucking rich, way too good to deal with a low frequency individual ever again. And I think the more I walk away from it, the better I feel and the better my relationships are and the better my day is because I don't wanna get down to their level. I don't wanna live in their world. Their world is fucking terrible for them to be such an idiot. Their world must be so fucking terrible because they're so not aware. And maybe have a little compassion for them if we can, instead of trying to teach them the lesson. Because you and I being coaches for so long, we're always about teaching people lessons, you know? Mm. Can't teach them a lesson. You can't. No, you can't. And, and also, you know, uh, I remember uh, something someone said to me, you know, like, you know, especially it's like, like, I don't drive anymore in New York, but it's like, it's easy to get behind a wheel and tell everyone else how it should be. You know, oh, you should be driving that way. You should be doing that. And it's like, you got to stop and say, who the f you got to stop and have humility. Who the fuck am I? Who do I? I don't know how it should be. You know, you got to remind yourself of that daily, you know? So um, I think another podcast I like to talk about sometime with you guys is, you know, the situation, and this is the same thing in New York. Like uh, I was talking last week about paying like extreme taxes, especially New York city taxes. And it's like, this uh democrat it's just, let's just call it what it's democrats making us pay all these taxes i don't know what they're for because I'm, it, as great as new york is is it's a hard it's a it's not it's not got great amenities and it no. should uh it should it should have the best it should be paved with gold with all the taxes running through this place and and i'm looking also at california and it's like democratic it's like these places are becoming communist dictatorships there's homeless people everywhere things are falling apart so i'm just wondering like uh how can people vote democrat anymore? that's another podcast another day man yeah i'm ten interested minute, 10 minute daily reality check with john keegan with two words from alexander miller <laughs> and david wygant we'll see you all another time come back tomorrow for more self-help that never sucks and a show that never ever sucks and always gets to the root of things. Don't engage. And, yeah. and, and don't engage the idiot, right? Yeah.